El Terrabuan Manifestation of Loss With the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Ever Merciful, whatever lies in the heavens and whatever lies in the earth glorifies Allah. To Him belong sovereignty and all true praises as well. He is the possessor of power to do every desired thing. It is He who created you. Some of you become disbelievers, while others become believers. Allah sees what you do. He created the heavens and the earth with an eternal purpose and to suit the requirements of truth and wisdom. And He shaped you and made your shapes beautiful. And to Him is the ultimate return. He knows whatever lies in the heavens and the earth and he knows what you conceal and what you do publicly. Allah knows the innermost thoughts of the hearts. Disbelievers, have you had no news of those who disbelieved in the past? They suffered the evil consequences of their conduct, and for them is decreed a woeful punishment. That was because their messengers of God kept on coming to them with clear proofs, but they said, Shall a mere human being guide us? So they disbelieved and turned away, paying no heed. Thereupon Allah showed them that he had no need of them. Indeed, Allah is self-sufficient above all needs, worthy of all praise in his own right. Those who disbelieve claim that they will not be raised from the dead. Say, no doubt by my Lord you shall surely be raised, and then you shall be told all that you have done in life, and that is easy for Allah. Therefore believe in Allah and His Messenger and the light which we have revealed, and Allah is well aware of all that you do. Beware of the day when He shall gather you together for the day of gathering. That will be the day of the manifestation of losses. Those who believe in Allah and act to suit the requirement of it will be acquitted of their evil deeds. He will admit them to the gardens served with running streams. They will abide therein forever and ever. That, that is the grand achievement. But those who disbelieved and cried lies to our messages, these are the inmates of fire. They will abide therein for a long time. What an evil resort it is. No calamity befalls but by the leave of Allah. When it happens, Allah guides the mind of the person who believes in him into the ways of his purification and enlightenment. And Allah knows all things very well. Obey Allah and obey the messenger. But if you turn away paying no heed, then bear in mind that our messenger is responsible only for the plain conveying of the messages. Allah, there is no other, cannot be, and will never be one worthy of worship but he. So let the believers put their trust in Allah. O you who believe, some of your spouses and children are enemies to you, so beware of them. And if you overlook their shortcomings and forgive and pardon them, you will find that surely Allah is great protector, ever merciful. Verily your possessions and your children are a means to reveal your hidden attributes. As for Allah, there awaits an immense reward with him. Therefore, do your duty towards Allah to the best of your ability, and listen to Him, and obey Him, and go on spending in His cause. If you do so, it will be best for your own selves. For only those who are rid of covetedness of their souls shall be really successful in every way. If you set apart a handsome portion of your wealth for the cause of Allah, he will multiply it for you and will protect you against your lapses. And Allah is most appreciating, all forbearing. He is the omniscient of the unseen, 
and the seen. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise.